little bit of a long run today, and have I been tying my shoes wrong in this episode? Here we go. Okay, the snowpocalypse is behind us, the blizzard that wasn't really ever a blizzard, just high winds. Uh, my name is Brian. I am documenting my learning, my thinking, my journey, all the way up to a marathon, first marathon in May. Uh, today is supposed to be a long run. It is 18 degrees out currently. The wind is light, so that's a good thing. And uh, I'm gonna get out there for a run. <clears throat> Two things were interesting. Uh, one, I saw this video about uh, tying your shoes that I thought was interesting, and I'll put me tying my shoes the way that uh, I learned, uh, and I wondered, am I haven't been tying my shoes the wrong way the entire time. Now, I don't think, I don't think that it's going to make a significant difference, but I can already tell you that I feel like it's a little bit more. Um, um, controlled or, or form-fitting at the top, a little bit more snug. And so we'll give it a go and see if that, uh, if I feel that the whole way through the run here. Gonna get out there for eight miles or so and uh, shut it down for some baseball practice. So here we go. So the interesting thing about that runner's knot is that I actually feel like I'm not getting as much heel slipping. Got guys snow blowing right now. I gotta get home and do that too. Um, so my heel isn't slipping out and perhaps it's not gonna wear on those shoes that I have, which is that rubbing I showed in that uh, Hoka Rincon after uh, 100 miles. Perhaps that eliminates that too. I don't know. Glad I learned it. Okay, the runner's not really did, in my opinion, the runners not, in my opinion, made a difference. Uh, I was complaining about heel slipping. Wasn't sure what to do about it. Somebody wrote a nice comment in my review of the Hoka Rincons after 100 and said that there are these pads that you can purchase that keep it a little bit more snug in the back of the heel. And then I was getting curious about why would that heel slippage even occur and is it something I'm doing wrong? Which then prompted me to research the runner's knot. And uh, after researching the runner's knot, I tried it today, and I felt like it kept things a little bit more snug. I didn't notice my heel coming out and slipping uh, a bit. So I like it. I think it made a difference. Now, that could all be sort of placebo effect of, you know, it's in my head, it's, I'm looking for confirmation bias, I'm looking for it to be proven right here uh, in some ways. But for now, I'm gonna keep tying my shoes this way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a sort of better demonstration of the runner's knot and my understanding of it here. Okay, so about that runner's knot. Again, this is new learning for me. It was pretty simple to figure out, but here's what I did. Basically, I had some heel slippage, and in this one in particular, I don't know if you can see that heel right there, I had some heel slippage. My apologies, these shoes are trashed from yesterday's run, but <clears throat> I had some heel slippage and I was talking about the support at the top of this shoe anyhow. I love everything about this shoe. The problem that I was having was the support. 
which led me down the path of trying to figure out uh, a little bit more about the runner's knot. So here's how it goes. Runner's knot is pretty simple. Using this last eyelid here, okay, you're gonna thread everything through. And what you're gonna do here is you're gonna instead not go across, but you're gonna go into the outer portion of that last eyelid on both sides. So here's what it looks like, like this, okay? And then the next step, which I have to put down here, the next step to this is to thread across. So you're gonna take the one that you just put in, you're gonna go across the shoe here, and you're gonna go across the shoe from this side, right to left, and you're gonna go inside that loop. Now when you're inside that loop, okay, you're basically gonna have the opportunity to cinch the shoes down on either side, which provides a little bit more support. So you're gonna go across, and then from here, cross it over one more time, get your loops, and again, this is all gonna be on your foot at this point, but there you go, this outer portion, you have this runner's knot, which is gonna keep a little bit more of a firm outer edge here to your shoe and your runs, and maybe avoid some of that heel slippage here. So as you can see, that runner's knot is pretty simple to do. It's really just using those two eyelids at the top in a different way. Uh, I will put the run details for day 49 of my training here. And as always, thanks for watching. If you're finding value here, don't hesitate to subscribe. Leave me a comment. I really appreciate your time.